Hey, what's up guys, Lyndon here. And today we're gonna to be talking about how do we connect our, our, our Wix content management system to our HubSpot CRM. And I'm gonna give you an idea as to why that's so important with a couple of examples as to how the tracking code helps you really have a better understanding of your customer's traffic or behavior on your site so that you have better engagements with them. Let's check it out. All right, so one of the first things that we need to do when we have our HubSpot account set up, one of the best, one of the first and important setups is getting your HubSpot tracking code to go onto your content management system, your website. And the steps that I'm going to be showing you is, is how to get it onto your Wix platform uh, so that you will now be able to track and understand prospects that vis that's visiting your website or actually see how customers have been navigating and moving through your website in terms of reading things like your blog. So the first step that you need to do is that you will go to settings. From settings, you will then scroll to the left-hand side and you will look for tracking and analysis. When you do have tracking and analysis, you will click here to get the tracking code. From there, you'll be copying the tracking code and then you go across to your Wix platform. You should, of course, should already be um, logged into your platform. On your dashboard on the left-hand side, you will scroll down to look for settings. When you reach settings, you will then look for tracking tools. And once you click there, you will then be creating new tool. Now, of course, they have some presets, so you are going to go to custom. And of course, the first thing that they're going to ask you to do is, is to paste the tracking code that you just copied from HubSpot. So you will paste. You already have the domain name that it's connected to. Now, of course, if you are managing different websites, you can actually put that domain name, put that tracking code on your respective website that you would like it to be, um, to be tracking. Give it a custom name so you can actually give it its own name. You could just call this HubSpot tracking code, right? Uh, you would leave it on all pages. And of course, the next step would be you would want to put it to body dash end from there you would apply now i'm not actually going to apply it because i already have the tracking code set up so once you do have that once you do apply and that's it you would have already you would have now set up your tracking code on your wix cms platform to show up in hubspot all right so what you can do what will happen there is that you will then be able to see things like this so if a customer is visiting your site you will now be able to see the number of visits that the customer made and the pages that they would have actually viewed on the site. Another cool thing with that is that you actually get to see um, particular things along the lines of the analytics tool. So let's say for instance, you do have companies that's visiting the site and no one has, has left any contact information as yet. In the analytics tool, you can actually then go to um, search, then you just type in prospects click prospects and the tracking code will help you identify what are the companies or respective um, networks that's really that people are using to get to your to get to your site. In this instance, you are seeing, so like for instance, this is Rochester University. It's a higher education institution in the States. They were recently on the site as at yesterday and they made, they did two page views and they visited uh, in one visit. And this is the kind of information that you will need um, as it relates to what type of companies is actually visiting your site. And there you have it. Simple steps to connect two extremely powerful tools or assets that you need to be able to better understand your buyer's behavior so that you can become a better seller to them. All right, guys, take care. Peace.